The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is an urban legend. A mythical section of the Atlantic Ocean bounded by Miami, Bermuda and Puerto Rico. Dozens of unexplainable disappearances have happened in the region, with some stories dating back as far as 1492. Ships filled with hundreds of people have gone missing with no wreckage ever found. But how dangerous actually is the region? Are these disappearances explainable? Or are aliens really abducting people in the Bermuda Triangle? You can't make a video about the Bermuda Triangle without first discussing the strange appearances that have happened in the area. Some of the earliest stories were documented by Christopher Columbus, who reported many strange sightings in the area when he voyaged across the Atlantic Ocean in 1492. One night, he reported seeing a great flame of fire crash into the sea, and a few weeks later, he saw a strange light appear in the distance. This is likely explained by a meteor and another ship, however some conspiracy theorists believe he saw a UFO that night. Despite strange occurrences happening in the 1800s, the area really captured the attention of the public in the 20th century. In March 1918, USS Cyclops sank somewhere in the region. What made this particularly distressing is that the boat was 542 foot long, was manned by over 300 people, and carried 10,000 tons of manganese, yet no remains of the wreckage were ever discovered. Even more distressing, the boat was equipped with the ability to send out an SOS distress call, yet they never did. The US president at the time, Woodrow Wilson, said, only God and the sea know what happened to the great ship. In 1941, two sister ships of USS Cyclops also vanished without a trace when taking a similar route. A pattern was seemingly emerging. Ships passing through the area were found abandoned or they would disappear. Four years later, in 1945, five Navy bombers carrying 14 men took off from Fort Lauderdale in Florida to conduct bombing runs. During this expedition, the leader of the mission, known as Flight 19, got severely lost due to a malfunctioning compass. All five planes flew around aimlessly until they ran out of fuel and were forced to ditch at sea. That same day, a rescue plane and its 13-man crew also disappeared. After an extensive search, no evidence was found. The official Navy report declared that it was as if they had flown to Mars. Strange disappearances have happened in the region as recently as 2015. In July, two 14-year-old boys took out a small boat to go fishing. Their boat was found one year later off the coast of Bermuda, but the boys were never seen again. In the same year, a ship was sunk in the Bermuda Triangle due to a deadly hurricane. Now that we have discussed some of the strange things that have happened in the region, we can take a look at some of the actual facts about the Bermuda Triangle, with the first being that it is not technically a triangle. This is because it is not official, it's not a registered territory, and it cannot be found on any maps. It gets the triangular shape from the person who invented the phrase Bermuda Triangle. That was author Vincent Hayes Gaddis, who used the triangle as a cover of a 1964 issue of Argosy. He stated that the area stretched from Miami to San Juan in Puerto Rico to Bermuda. This is where the triangle comes from. The Bermuda Triangle is host to the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean. It's called the Milwaukee Depth, and it's part of the Puerto Rico Trench. It bottoms out at 27,493 feet, which is 8,380 meters. That is nearly the height of Mount Everest, but inverted into the ocean. This is likely an explanation as to why some of the wreckages are never found. The area is located within the Gulf Stream, which is known to cause sharp changes in local weather. This means it's very likely for tropical storms and hurricanes to form and dissipate quickly. This is an explanation as to why some of the ships and planes go missing in the first place. The Agonic Line is an imaginary line on Earth's surface connecting the North and South magnetic poles. Along this point, there is no magnetic declination where a freely suspended magnetic needle indicates true North. This line sometimes passes through the Bermuda Triangle, including a period in the early 20th century. Because the compasses don't need to account for magnetic declination, if they are not properly adjusted, ships and planes can find themselves off course. In 2013, the World Wildlife Fund, otherwise known as the WWF, conducted an extensive study of maritime shipping lanes and determined that the Bermuda Triangle does not rank in the world's top 10 most dangerous bodies of water for shipping. 
One of the leading maritime insurance companies, Lloyds of London, does not recognise the area as especially hazardous, neither does the US Coast Guard. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the most highly trafficked areas for amateur pilots and sailors, as well as one of the most heavily travelled shipping lanes in the world. Statistically, more travel will lead to more accidents. Disappearances do not happen at a greater frequency in the Bermuda Triangle than in any other comparable region of the Atlantic Ocean. Despite its mystery, most of the disappearances can likely be explained by different natural occurrences, not just one single theory. So no, it is extremely unlikely that aliens are abducting passers-by in the Bermuda Triangle.